The association is back. Happy NBA opening day. It all tips off at 8 Eastern. Two of the last three MVPs in action, both LeBron and Steph Curry. Here is your evening slate. Cavs, Bulls, Pelicans, Warriors, and Pistons, Hawks. It's the beginning of the season, but it's never too early to discuss how it will end. Vegas puts the Cavaliers as the 2-1 to one favorites, followed by the Warriors and Spurs with both 4-1 to one odds. Then the Thunder, 7-1, to one, and the Clippers, 8-1. to one. Stephen A., which teams... <laughs> on opening day will be in the NBA Finals. Well, first of all, let's get the obvious out of the way. Okay. Let's talk about the Cavs coming out of the East. I definitely believe that will be the case. Um, I just believe that if Kyrie Irving is healthy, uh, even if Kevin Love is not, or if Kevin Love is healthy, even if Kyrie is not, I think that this goes in a forward direction. I'm just of the mindset that the Cleveland Cavaliers are absolutely loaded. Um, I, contrary to popular belief, I believe that the Miami Heat will meet the Cleveland Cavaliers in the conference finals. I believe that D. Wade and Chris Bosh and the crew, Pat Riley, is on a collision course with Cleveland to meet in the conference finals. I know a lot of people out there like the Washington Wizards. I love me some John Wall and Bradley Beal. I think they're special. But I'm not sold on Nene. Gortat, I like a lot. But I'm hearing Jared Dudley or Chris Humphreys is going to be your four, and you're going to be jacking up more threes, and that's, your, that's your, your, your recipe to success. I don't see it. Keep your eyes on Milwaukee. Jason Kidd has proven to be an exceptional coach. They got Greg Monroe added to the squad. Jabari Parker's coming back. You got Michael Carter-Williams and the crew. Milwaukee will be in the final four of the Eastern Conference, but I think Miami or Cleveland knocks them off. I think Cleveland knocks everybody off in the East. They go to the finals. Okay. Out West. Here we oh. go. Out West. Wild, wild West. Let me throw this out there. Here are the teams. San Antonio, mm -hmm. OKC, Clippers, Houston, Golden State. Those are, the, those are the five that I'm really looking at. Memphis on the outside of the five looking in. They'll win their 45-plus games, whatever, but they ain't win no damn championship. And I like Memphis, but they ain't win no damn championship. Here's the deal. I thought about this long and hard, Skip Bayless. I'm sure you did. I've thought about... Like maybe in the last minute. I, I, I've thought about... <laughs> stop it. Don't insult me. Don't disrespect me. You know I live and eat NBA. Here's the deal. I've thought about LaMarcus Aldridge. I've thought about him being added to Tim Duncan. Skip Bayless. This is a big no. There's Skip a big Bayless. Coming. Yep. Mm. I still can't go with him. I knew it. I got to go with Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and the Oklahoma City Thunder meeting LeBron and the crew in the finals. Okay. I just think that the return of Durant, I think he's good for 25 a game. I think Russell Westbrook is going to explode. Enos Cantor can't guard me, but he is good for 20, I mean, for 18 and 10 a night. Yep. Serge Ibaka is there. Deion Waiters mm -hmm. is looking to make a name for himself. Anthony Morrow and those boys yep. can do some things. I just think that from a matchup perspective, they're a nightmare. I think Golden State, they're not fraudulent. They're the champions. They deserve respect. They got the best shooting backcourt in the NBA. Yep. I get that that but a lot of injuries took place that led the way to their championship last year i don't think that's going to happen this year the clippers are a team that would surprise me if they got to the finals but damn it i'm sick and tired of picking them and then watching deandre jordan shoot 39 percent for the free throw line i can't take it i just can't take it anymore i just can't take it okay you got to be able to make free throws all right yep. when he proves to me he can make free throws i'll change but until then i can't go with that I'm just trying to figure out if Kevin Durant is healthy. Now that Russell Westbrook had to step in for the 55 games that Kevin Durant was out and handled his business by himself, won the scoring title, averaged 28 a game, I'm trying to figure out, let me see. Who the hell going to stop Russell Westbrook? Steph Curry, I, I, I ain't got nothing but love for you, bro. Nobody can stop you, but you can't stop Steph Curry. Chris Paul, uh, the quintessential point guard, a superstar. You, you, you can't stop Russell Westbrook. Tony Parker, oh, no, 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 no. I mean, you have no answer for this, man. Mm -hmm. So the way I look at it, this is basketball, baby. I understand the other components and how important they are. But you give me two stars that can put the ball in a hole at will, I'm rolling with them. Right now, my pick is Oklahoma City to meet Cleveland in the NBA Finals. And we, we need a bottom line. Mm -hmm. oh.
too early. Oh. <sighs> I'm going to have to go with LeBron and Cleveland. Ooh. I'm gonna have to go. Now that, that would be a story. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to do that because I think that Kevin Durant's kryptonite is LeBron. I agree with that. I think his kryptonite is LeBron in the sense that whatever he does, it doesn't seem to be as profound against LeBron as it is against everybody else. Mm -hmm. And I think that there are components defensively that Cleveland has in place that Oklahoma City may not. So, again, I think San Antonio would beat Cleveland. I think the Clippers would beat Cleveland. But I think Oklahoma City could beat both of those teams out west mm -hmm. and lose to LeBron because Durant isn't the Durant that we know when it comes to him going up against LeBron. Mm -hmm. But I got Cleveland and OKC in the NBA Finals. And it's not like OKC can't beat him. I mean, Durant in the sleep can average 30. And Russell Westbrook, there is no answer for him. Mm -hmm. Zero. Yep. No one can guard him. Right. All right. But I still got, because of Moskov and Tristan Thompson and then Love and all, I got to give Cleveland the edge in that matchup. Mm -hmm. If it was San Antonio, I'd pick San Antonio. If it were the Clippers, I'd pick the Clippers. But against Oklahoma City, I got to give Cleveland the edge, okay, and I got, I got Cleveland and OKC in the mm. finals. Okay. You and I were there, what was it, four years ago when LeBron took to school the basketball babies that were Durant, Westbrook, and James Harden. And, Remember and that? Respectfully, Durant did average over 30 okay, on 50% percent shooting in the finals. But they lost in five? Five. They did lose in five. They did lose in five. But okay. other cats weren't ready. That's the only I, I, blemish I, up, on up until Harden. game six last year. Up until game six, that's the only blemish on... James Harden's entire career was that he was MIA in the finals. Okay. We are in sync on the East. I believe that Miami will meet Cleveland in the Eastern Conference Finals and that if the Cavs get healthy, and that includes the man you just spoke of, LeBron James, he's got a back issue. I'm not concerned. Okay. Well, I'm not at this moment either, but I'm a little concerned about Shumpert and I'm very concerned about Kyrie's knee because it ain't right yet and it was a horrific injury that he suffered. God bless him. He, he's a good kid. He's a great player. To, to me, he's right there with LeBron on value to this show. Okay, right that's fair. That's okay. fair. I agree All with right. that. So, I agree with so that. If, he's, if he can even get to 92% healthy and stay right there, I'm with you on this. I am rooting for the Heat. I'm the biggest D. Wade fan, and we've, we've detailed. And I don't need to go back through this roster. It is loaded. And if Dwayne can stay about 82% healthy for the whole year and be ready for the playoffs, they could threaten this other team, this, this Cavaliers team. And I will be rooting for them. I just don't think they yet have enough firepower. I it's will, close. It's close. D. Wade and Goran Dragic oh, in the backcourt. Oh. This kid, I want to emphasize this, this kid, Hassan Whiteside. He's, he's a I was in Miami yeah. over a week ago interviewing D. Wade. Hassan Whiteside is a big dude. I know. And he's bulked up a little bit. Guess what? Cleveland's claim to fame was LeBron being able to post yep. at will. How you going to do that with Hassan Whiteside down the post? I, That's a problem. You now yep. turn LeBron into a perimeter shooter. Yep. I'm still rolling with Cleveland, so but I. I think Miami can make it very interesting. Okay. So can I. Now let's move to the wild, wild west. That's what I'm waiting Molly for. Calls yep. I'm going to sound like a broken record, but I'm going to stick with the team that just keeps breaking records my San Antonio Spurs. They loaded up. They, they didn't just reload. They, they, they bulked up to the point that I don't think even the West can touch this team with LaMarcus Aldridge on the first team and David West manning the second team. And right now, I believe that my second five is at least as dangerous to play against as my first five. And just to reflect on, on to remind people, it's, it's Duncan, Parker, Kawhi, Danny Green, LaMarcus Aldridge starting. And second unit comes in, the shock troops with Dial, David West, Ginobili, Patty Mills, and Kyle Anderson. And trust me, Kyle Anderson is emerging as a player in this league, as a guy who can defend stretch fours and rebound and shoot and pass. Manu Ginobili recommitted and refocused in the offseason because he was ashamed of the way he played last year. Trust me, he's going to turn back into a force on this team this year. Okay. So my point is, I got one other name for you, and it's going to become our pet name on this show. Oh, no. You ready for this? Yeah. Boban Marjanovic.
Boban. Boban Marjanovic. Boban Marjanovic. Or, or nickname Bobby. Bobby. Oh, we are going Bobby. to be talking about Bobby Boban all year. Boban Marjanovic. Marjanovic. Seven feet three inches from Serbia. We'll take the Aaron Baines role, <laughs> play 18 minutes a game. We'll, we'll start for Tim Duncan on many nights when Duncan sits and rests the whole game. I think Boban he's a player. Marjanovic. Remember, Bobby. because you're Bobby, you're going to be speaking of Bobby. So Bobby. Seven feet three and Bo long. Bobby. And long. Well, listen, I can't poo poo that. Yeah. I haven't seen him play yet. But if you're seven feet three, I gotta, I gotta admit, if you're seven feet three, mm -hmm. and R.C. Buford and his staff is correct. Have plucked you out they of like Europe, him. and Greg Popovich is coaching you. I got to believe that you got a chance. 27 years old and has been a veteran pro in Europe, okay? So, so Just watch. So Just watch. All right. Bobby. So, so, that's so remember Bobby. And the two biggest threats to me, and I like your Oklahoma City pick. They are the biggest threat to my Spurs. Number two is Golden State. I don't fear the Clippers because it's it's just going to be a mess of, of egos. and, and play. I, I, God bless Doc, but I don't think he can coach through Do this. Do you team. know why I ultimately pick OKC? Because OKC don't have to deal with any of those boys outside of Kawhi Leonard I'm with you. that yeah. you pointed out. I got you. Kevin Durant and Westbrook can beat you from 17 feet and beyond all night long. Okay, but I will ask you, what happened in Game 6 Western Conference Finals at Oklahoma City two years ago? What That's happened? True. That's true. You Spurs look. won in overtime right. and finished it them happens. off. There is a troubled dynamic that will still operate between Durant and Westbrook. In and of themselves, they're sensational I, talents. I, Put them back together. Mm, it's like, I, I got to have faith. Listen, I, there were other coaches that I thought deserved an opportunity as well, but there is no denying that Billy Donovan is an exceptional basketball coach he on is. the collegiate I, level. I respect Now the he's going to the head coaching position. I think that those concerns will be addressed, and I think they'll be fine. Okay, because Russell Westbrook is a terror to coach as well as to guard. So on opening I, day... I'd take Russell Westbrook. I'd, I'd start a franchise with Russell Westbrook. Not talk to the media, For a but I'd start him to play. <laughs> on opening day, you have the Cavs winning it all and the Spurs. Spurs. All right, Spurs last won a championship in 2014. The city of Cleveland when Jim Brown was playing in the NFL mm. a long, long yep. time ago. Before I was born. Yes, the NBA season kicks off tonight, but tomorrow is opening night on ESPN. We've got a couple good ones. First, the Spurs take on Kevin Durant That'll and the work. Thunder. Yeah. Then at 10.30, Kobe's back as the Lakers host the Timberwolves. NBA countdown tips off at 7, and it's all streaming live on Watch ESPN. Don't miss the return of the NBA on ESPN. And lucky us, let Legendary producer, singer, rapper, songwriter, Timberland is in the studio. So much to discuss with him. Maybe we'll get the scoop on Empire, plus a lot more. That's next.